going on YouTube? We're gonna take out the 114. We're gonna do the fat bob this time. Okay, it's got your typical Harley layout as always. Forward controls. It's got a nice lumbar seat on it. It's got the 114. It's basically this bike is as stock as it gets. Small little dash. We got your uh, RPM gauge is, uh, is analog. Speed is uh, digital. So I'll give this one a whirl. This is obviously in your vivid black with the gray two-tone. Idles nice and low. Gotta get used to this turning radius. Gotta get used to these bikes. They're all so different. Wow, it's so different from the 107s. Definitely a, a different feel bike. The forward controls are like right there, opposed to having the running boards like I had before. Ergonomics feel pretty decent. Can really feel the heat on the, the intake. That thing's like right up against my leg. Balance is pretty nice. Good positive clicks. Shifting into gear. Handlebars definitely feel a lot different than the Softail Slim. It's a nice, comfortable rider triangle. Yeah, yeah, she's got some snot, man. Second gear. All right, we're third gear now. It's pretty comfortable. That seat's definitely got some lumbar support there in your ass. Not gonna slip back anywhere. Leans in pretty decently. Only thing I can tell right away is you gotta look down at your, your dash to see how fucking fast you're going. Oh, she gets up and goes. Wow, that 114 is just like, yeah, yeah. That's so different than the 107. Liking this Fat Bob though, I do like this. This is pretty nice. It's a nice, comfortable triangle. It's definitely pretty nice. This one here, I like this. I was, you know, I sat on this bike a couple times over the last few months and picked it up. I was like, ah, I really like how this one felt. It's nice and light. Oh, look at that old car. This thing's pretty sick. Brakes are really grabby. Real easy on grabbing those brakes. This thing here, though, that she's, uh, yeah, she's pretty peppy, man. Those 114s are real fucking peppy. Surprised at how peppy they are. Well, what do you expect? Because I was on a 107 before, but yeah, this 114, holy crap. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. I like that. Man, she's got some fucking just a little touch of that throttle, man, and she wants to go. Wow, this thing just is. I like that. That 114. Holy moly. I really like this. I definitely would want to change up a few things, probably put a different style of bar on it. I don't know, maybe it'll something a little narrower. Seems pretty comfortable. The rider triangle is really nice. This seat's really comfortable too. I'm really surprised um, how comfortable this seat is. Over that 107, yeah, I'd take, definitely take the 114 over a 107, that's for sure. Let's check out the flickability of this thing. Yeah, she flicking. She's pretty nice. Yeah, I can see why people like these uh, Fat Bobs, man. This is a nice bike. I can see me owning one of these. Eats up these bumps really nice. Wow, this thing's set up almost for my weight. Oh yeah, she can pull, man. Holy fuck, if she pull. Does it got an ABS? Yeah, this bike has ABS too. The Fat Bob, yeah, I, I like the Fat Bob. I can see why this is a popular bike. This is definitely a popular bike for the newer bikes, and I can see why. This is a pretty nice ride. Now, 114, she's got a lot of snot. Like, holy, there's a lot of snot under this <laughs> between my legs. You can really feel the vibrations in the foot pegs in your hands. The mirrors are pretty decent. I can see behind me. The only thing is, you gotta look down at your dash to see how fast you're going. Your RPM gauge is there, right? Looks like this thing tacks out about five. It's got some nice engine braking going down the hill here. I can feel a little bit of that chatter going on in the compensator. Should be nice to get these bikes up into sixth gear to see what it's like. Definitely, you can feel the rumble between your legs and in your ass. Would I own this? Hell yeah. This bike I would own. Here's something I would definitely own. I would own this bike, not a problem. She's got some good grunt. The only thing I noticed about the uh, indicators on the Harleys is it doesn't have that positive click when you're uh, turning the indicator on. The engine doesn't get too warm. We took off, it was kind of warm. These things having that oil cooler in them, it definitely keeps those heads a lot cooler. 
not as hot as I'd say the old Evo engine is. Getting used to the turning on this thing because of those big fat tires. The other thing I noticed too is just taking my hand off the, the brake and putting it back on the gas. Your, your fingers kind of hit your uh, the mirrors. This would be, uh, yeah, if we come to the soft tail line, this would probably be my first choice right now. Out of all the ones that I've ridden, this one here, yeah, I, I like this. This is, uh, this is a pretty sick bike. It's pretty comfortable. Definitely like this ride, man. This would definitely be a one I would buy. Could I afford it? Mm, possibly. I'll have to look into it though. I think I like this. I think I do like the Fat Bob. I'm really impressed with this bike. I really do like this bike. But yeah, this is definitely a really nice bike. I want to own this bike. Now this one here, I definitely wouldn't want to get in vivid black. I'd probably want to go with a denim paint. If I was going to get this bike, I would fucking go all out for sure paint scheme on this i think i've seen this bike in that color there that orange here wait a second okay well we'll try to do the roundabout test here <clears throat> i found that so far everything into the, these roundabouts you kind of have to have the right gear she lands really nice speed bump test No, this is a this is a pretty sexy bike. Nice leaning angle there. So if you like this, mash all over that like button. If you haven't already, stage that on that subscribe button, and we'll slayer another time. Cue the music.